Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Parallel 49 Jerkface 9000 Weed Ale. What a name. Also, what a brightly colored can. It's a crazy can art. This guy looks like an asshole. Hey you! Yeah, I'm talking to you, buddy. How about you grab a can of this mosaic hopped American style wheat beer and cram it down your pie hole? Did I hurt your feelings? Too friggin' bad. When it's this good, you ain't gotta be nice about it. This is a Northwest Wheat Ale, it says 5%. Again, ladies and gentlemen, just like the uh, Trash Panda beer we liked so much. Um, that's about all it says. Some branding, some social media links, and that's, that's about it. So this got a tannum hops, and it's dry hopped with mosaic. So that should be interesting. We really like the Trash Panda beer, so I'm super excited to try this thing and see how it is. Get a different kind of spectrum from these guys. Parallel 49 is the, the longitudinal lines at which the brewery converges upon. Which I think is a kind of a cool, it's a kind of a cool thing. And they're out of Canada, Vancouver, right? Um, yeah, product of Canada. They're out of uh, British Columbia somewhere. Yeah, Vancouver. You're right. Yeah, I'm psy super psyched about this one because the Trash Panda was so damn good that now I have to try different stuff from them. Hmm. Florally, a little bit. And this is a wheat ale, not to be mistaken for a wit beer. Hmm different style of a wheat beer. Yeah. yeah, it's a little bit florally. It's mm -hmm. very light. Like I can barely distinguish anything on the nose. Definitely getting that mosaic. Yeah, sure, it's in there. On the nose. That's recognizable. I don't think to like an untrained nose it would be obvious, but no. we drink so many beers with mosaic in it that like, yeah, it's right there. I'm ready. Cheers. Cheers. Man, you know what? It's got that same kind of smooth character that the other beer had. Mm hmm That's like almost like a distinguished thing with them. Like it brought me right back to the Trash Panda. <laughs> that's like a thing they might just do. Maybe they're good maybe, at it. Maybe that's just how they brew their beer. And it just comes out like that. The smooth sort of like mouthfeel to it. I don't know, I guess I've never had any beers with that. What's the other hop? A tannum. A tannum hop. But or attainum? Or autonum? Autumn? Autumn them? Mm. Is the H silent? I, I believe so. <laughs> the hot presence is definitely way more pronounced than your typical wheat beer or mm -hmm. wheat ale, but it still maintains that body that you would expect a wheat ale to have. But the dry hopping didn't seem to like kill the style. No. Like they didn't overdo it. It has a good bitterness to it too. It doesn't linger. I mean, it, it lingers a bit, but it cleans up. That's the thing about wheat beers is that they're not very bitter. So when you drink them, you're getting more maltiness, more, you know, the, that weediness mm -hmm. to it. Um, but yeah, with this one, you, you definitely get that. And it's very forward, but then there's also this like quality of like bitterness to it that, that comes out right at the end. And that's, that's just like a really cool take on a, a wheat beer, I guess. I mean, I've never tasted anything quite like that. Yeah. Dude, another another good beer from Parallel 49. Holy crap, guys. I mean, what's going on, Canada? I just have to keep drinking more Parallel 49 beers. I guess so. Where'd you find this one? I can't remember. Could mm. have been to a wine. Maybe. No, we're, I'm going to keep my eye out for even more Parallel beers because these guys are rocking it. I mean, just like the other beer, I, these guys came kind of out of left field. Surprised us all. So... They got the craziest mm -hmm. names and the craziest artwork and like even their website's wonky as hell. Like it's awesome. I just like the branding. I like the style. I like how you guys put on a show and uh, and make me want to drink a beer before I even drink it. I still don't know what this ladies and gentlemen thing is all about though. I, can you guys get at me and let me know what that's all about on the top? Because every single beer it seems says ladies and gentlemen, but then it doesn't say anything else. I don't know what that means. I think they're just announcing the beer. It's driving me crazy. Maybe. Jerk face 9000. Yeah, yeah, like an announcer. He's an so I wonder why they chose this like ventriloquist looking dummy as it's like. Cause he's a jerk. He's got that sure. jerky face. <laughs> it's a face, it's a punchable face. 
Actually, you know, <laughs> he looks like the uh, lead singer from Prodigy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he kind of does. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Rest in peace. I'm digging this one. It's unique, it's different. Pick this one up, it's fine, it's good. I like it. Sweet. All right guys, thanks so much for tuning in. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay notified when new videos release. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers.